continue with the step by step execution. We are going to log into AWS. Here we have AWS. Let's click on it. Log into AWS. We are connecting to the root account. Successfully, we logged into the AWS. We are part of North Virginia region. And let's go to the EC2 dashboard. As per this diagram, we are in AWS as part of North Virginia region. There we are going to EC2 dashboard to launch instance one and instance two. Rather I launch instance two now, I will do it in later. Why later? Because whatever I do in the instance one, I should do the same thing in instance two. When I want to do re re uh, repeat, why do I, I execute again steps? What I do, I will just do whatever I want here. Then I'll create an ambient from here. Then I launch the instance. That's what we are going to do it. We are going to launch two instances, but first I launch one instance. This instance, I will call it as K8S. K8S stands for Kubernetes hyphen CP. CP stands for control plane. So B12 underscore B13 underscore K8S hyphen CP. CP stands for control plane. I'm going with one of the Linux distribution and the vendor name is Ubuntu, version is 22.04. Initially, I'll go with the t2.micro, then I will upgrade it to t2.medium. I can create a new security group or map the existing security group where all ports are allowed. As of now, I'm going for the security group, which I have already created. I'm attaching instance profile. Click on launch instance. We are launching a EC2 instance as part of AWS, part of North Virginia region. On this EC2 instance, I will set up required things. From there, I will create an army then I will use it for node 2, node 3, node 4, node 5, node 6, and so on. That means until certain step, we need to re replicate the same steps for the control plane and the master. Instance is coming up. We are going to set up Kubernetes cluster. Then we'll do deployment. Then we'll do sub service deployment. We'll create replica sets, then we'll clean up. For that, in the setup control plane, just now I launched control plane, then I'll create node one, node two, node three. All this I'll map it to the cluster. So on Kubernetes cluster, nodes will be there. On top of the node, pod will be there. On top of the pod, container will be there. So inside the pod, containers will be running. That what would be the container? Could be web server, could be Tomcat, could be Jenkins, JFrog, Sonarpy, whatever it is. 